Okay, hi, good afternoon everyone. This is again and today I'm going to talk about the next chapter. Chapter 3, Food Origins in the Book, Food Around the World. In the series I'm making from previously. Now I'm going to read the chapter 3, Food Origins. Some of our favorite foods have a long story. Do you know that popcorn is thousands of years old? And do you know who invented potato chips? or where chocolates were discovered. Firstly, popcorn. People started growing corn for food about 8,000 years ago. In Central America, they used corn in many ways. They ate it fresh and they used it to bake bread and soups. Do you know that they also invented popcorn? In 1948, archaeologists found popcorn in the cave. It was about 5,500 years old. Native Americans made popcorn by cooking the corn over fire. People enjoy eating the hot popcorn. Uh, they also use it to make decoration and popcorn nakedness. Well, interesting popcorn nakedness. Chocolate. The native people of the Central America also invented chocolates about 2,000 years ago. They made a spicy drink from the seeds of the cacao tree. First, they dried the cacao seeds and crushed them to make the paste. Then they added chili peppers and water. The chocolate drink wasn't sweet. It would be uh, bitter. And Spanish explorers learned about chocolates when they arrived in America. Is, and it soon became a popular drink in Spain. Spanish people liked their chocolate hot with uh, sugar and cinnamon. Hot chocolate later became popular all over the world, Europe. And chocolate factories started making chocolate candy too. In uh, 1867, a Swiss chocolate maker named Diana Peter invented a chocolate candy with, uh, made with milk. And now milk chocolates are very popular and cacao trees are grow in many places. You can see the picture in here, there's a man in Africa. He's harvesting the cacao fruit from the cacao trees. Look at that. This is the first time I see the cacao tree. Okay, next we talk about ice cream. About 2000 years ago, the ancient Romans brought ice and snow from the mountains and mixed it with uh, fruits and honey. About 1,500 years ago, people in China made desserts with ice and milk. Wow, interesting. The soft ice cream that we eat today were probably invented in Europe about 400 years ago. Wow, really? It's short, no time, it's not too long, right? 400 years. Fruit ice, fruit ice were popular in Europe. Then people started to add ice cream. Uh, they put the cream in a metal bowl with sugar. They, um, they throw this in a bucket of ice. This was hard work because they had to keep mixing the cream by hand. And in uh, 1843, an American woman named Nancy Johnson invented an ice cream machine. Seven years later, the first ice cream factory opened in Baltimore in the USA. And as you see, this, there is an ice cream machine in the pictures. It looks like a bucket, right? We're going to the potato chips. And uh, in 1853, Yogurt's Crumb was a cook in a restaurant in Satar, Saratoga Spring in New York. One day, a customer said he didn't like Yogurt's French fries. He said they would they were too thick, so Yoga played a job on the customer. He made some uh, French fries that were very thin, like paper. Oh man, really? The customer loved them. Soon, all of Yoga's customers wanted thin French fries. Yoga called them Saratoga chips, and in 1860, Jogger opened a new restaurant and his thin chips became famous all over the USA. Today, potato chips are one of the most popular snakes in the world. And do you know that? 
in the United Kingdom, French fries are called chips, and potato chips are called crisps. Wow, this new, right? All right, so now we're talking to the chapter four about typical dishes. Every country has a typical dishes that are popular with local people. The dishes are often made in traditional way, with special ingredients. What types of dishes are typical in the country? Italy. Wow. Italy. Pasta is the most typical food in Italy. In Italian, pasta is made from wheat flour and comes in many different shapes. For example, a spaghetti is long and straight. Spirally is patterns is a spiral shapes. Spiral. Yeah. Look at this. This spiral. And Stanley pastas is a star chef. Hmm. And uh, what type of pasta do you prefer? To me, I prefer spaghetti because I didn't have a chance to try the other one. Pizza is not a typical dish in Italy. Italian pizza is usually made with wheat flour, tomato, and mozzarella cheese. Some people also add meat, seafood, or vegetables. Most pizzas are round, but in Rome, they also made special square pizzas. Interesting. I never ever see the square pizza before. Korea. Wow. Look at the Korea. Rice is a very important Korean food. And most Koreans eat, eat some rice every day. They often eat rice with the dishes of meat, seafood, and vegetables. Wow, well, it's the same in Vietnam. Uh, that reason why a lot of uh, girl, Vietnamese girl, go to uh, Korean to get married. Koreans also use rice to make soup, rice cakes, and a sweet dessert drink called Siki. Hey. Oh, it had to read. Do nice spicy food? Do to try some Korean kimchi. It's a spicy dish made with cabbage, onions, garlic, chili, peppers, and salt. Many people have their own special recipe. Most Koreans eat some kimchi every day. It's a very healthy food because it has lots of vitamins. And do you know that traditional kimchi is made in pottery jars? You see the pottery jars on in the corner of the rice here. People put the jars underground to keep the kimchi at exactly the right temperature. Now they have a different way to make their kimchi. Okay, now talk about Mexico. I never ever ch have chance to see me come to visit Mexico, but I um, have chance to meet a lot of Mexican guests. Mexican tortillas are a type of thin, flat bread. They are usually made with uh, corn flour, but some people use wheat flour. First, you cook them in a hot pan, then you fill them with meat cheese, beans, and vegetables. Mexican tortillas are salt, so you can fold them to keep the food inside. You can also eat them with your fingers. Molpolano is another typical dish in Mexico. It's thick sauce made with chili peppers, nuts, seeds, and spices. Chocolate is also a secret ingredient. Mexicans use more polano to make lots of dishes. The most popular dish to, is made with turkey. It's a Mexican national dish. Wow, really? Look at that. Maybe this is more polano. And Morocco. Morocco. This is a new country to me. Mm. Cocos, Morocco, Morocco, Cocos is one of the most typical food in Morocco. It's made from wheat. The Cocos grains are small when they are dry. 
then they will get bigger when they are cooked with water. Model can often eat cows with meat and vegetable dishes. They also use it to make cool summer salads or sweet dessert cakes. Another typical food in Morocco is tazin. It's a hot dish made with vegetables and meat or seafood. People also add nuts and dried fruit like raisins. They cook the tizens very slowly in a tizen pot when it's ready. They serve it with cold coals or fresh bread. It's delicious. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Chapter 5. Talk about chapter 5 is uh, cool drinks. What do you like to drink when you the weather is hot? Everybody needs to drink water. But there's a lot of other cool drinks. People often drink fruit juice or soda, but in some countries they prefer other types of drink. Some of the drinks are quite unusual. Alright, I don't know if that they can they mention about Vietnam, but with Vietnamese people, we prefer teas, green teas. To me too, I prefer green tea. Okay, talk about India. Lassi is a popular Indian drink. It's made with yogurt and it can be sweet or savory. Wow, many people drink it in summer, but some people like to drink it all year long. To make sweet lazy. Uh, you mix some yogurt, sugar, and ice with the blender. You can add fresh fruits like mangoes, bananas, or strawberries to make a savory lazy. You mix the yogurt with salt. Some people also like to add pepper and other spices. Which type of lazy would you like to try? I would love to try the savory one. And Spain. Spanish people, the way the people Spanish eating is also the same with Vietnamese or even like Chinese. I ever have chance to see the eating. Horacha is the traditional drink in some parts of Spain. It looks like a vanilla music, but it isn't made with milk, really. It's made with tiger nuts. They are poses says that. Grow, uh, grow underground. To make horacha, horchata, you leave the tie, leave the tiger nuts in water for a day. Then you squeeze the juice out of them. You can add sugar, lemon, and cinnamon. Horacha, horchata is also the name of a drink in Mexico, but it tastes very different and it's made with rice. Discover, do you know that cinnamon is a spices? It comes from the back of cinnamon trees. Many people use cinnamon in sweet dishes, but it's also good in a savory dishes. Yeah. The way of making the I ever heard that they are they use the cinnamon. You know the cinnamon to cook boil the cinnamon for around two to three hours. They only take us water from that and mix it with you know, a ginseng. We have the pure, delicious, and so cool. Keep it in the cool, in the freezers to make it cool. And when we drink it, it's so flavor. I have ever chance to drink it before. My boss is make it and made it for the customer, for the guests on our boat. Then I have a chance to uh, drink it, to test it. It's actually I test it. It's sweet. They use a, you know, with that drink, they use a special kind of sugar in uh, brown sugar in Korean, and the way to make it also, to, um, you know, it's hard work and take a long time. Now talking about Sudan. Gubi Gudi is a special drink from Sudan, Sudan, Sudan. Yes, it's made from the fruit of the baobab tree. Farmers night to drink it in uh, the summer because it's very refreshing. Baobab fruit is uh, also called monkey's bread. 
It's very healthy because it contains lots of carbohydrates and proteins. It also has more vitamin C than oranges. Wow! To make uh, gabi, you break open you break open a baobab fruit and take out the mm, dry pulp, uh, pulp. When you put the pulp in water and squeeze it to make a white juice. Some people also use baobab fruit to make ice cream and milk shakes. And discover the baobab tree is also called the upside down tree. Can you see why? Of course, in the picture we can see that the leaf is under and the root of the trees is uh, turned over. So that's why we really call cool. that is upside down trees, tamarind. Of course, this in Egypt, tamarind juice is a popular drink in Egypt, especially in summer. It's popular in Vietnam too. It's delicious and so fresh with tamarind juice. The juice is made from the seed pods of tamarind tree. The pods are large and brown. People also just uh, eat them fresh to make it, you know, you know, when we use it to make a soup, you know, when we boil vegetables, some cut vegetables, you know, we add some tamarind fruit. Well, the flavor, the sour, savory, sour flavor of the tamarind is so different and it's delicious. To make tamarind juice, people will put it, put the pot in water for two or three hours. Then you take out the pulp and cook it in hot water. After that, you take out the seeds. Finally, you add cold water, ice, and spices. Tamarind juice free sour. So most people also, so most people also eat as sugar. Of course, it must be sour with tamarind. Okay, now I'm going to talk about tree food for the, in the chapter six. Many people like eating in the trees. They can eat quickly and the food is usually cheap. There are lots of different tree foods around the world. What are the, are the most popular tree foods in the country? What? To me, how to describe the most um, favorites and the most famous um, popular tree foods? Must be um, some nodding. Brazil. One of the most typical tree foods in Brazil is powdered quay, quay tujo. It's a bowl of warm bread made with uh, tapioca flour and cheese. Some cheese vendors also sell barbecue chicken or spicy prawns. If you are thirsty, try some acai. It's a popular drink made from palm tree berries. For dessert, you can have fresh fruits or you can try some sweet coconut pastries. If you want a snack made later, you can have popcorn with sugar. It's a popular snack all over Brazil. Wow. Most of the tree fruits is for the young people because Thailand, wow, the heaven of tree food. Tree food is very popular in Thailand. There are lots of food stores on cars. You can uh, also see vendors on bicycles, motorbikes, or boats. Some of the most typical tree foods are spicy Thai noodles, noodles and sticky rice with peanuts. It's the same in Vietnam. But, uh, you know, I don't know why, but I came to Thailand years, two years ago. And I try the, uh, I try noodles, I try um, sticky rice in Thailand. But when I compare them to Vietnam, the noodles and sticky rice in Vietnam is much more flavorful and it's more delicious than that. Maybe the taste, I, you know, I, be fam I was familiar with the taste in Vietnam, so I love the way Vietnamese people make uh, noodles and the way Vietnamese people make sticky rice. It's much more, um, you know, tasty. It's tasty than in Thailand to me. 
Okay, some of the multiple trees food to inspire the Thai noodle and sticky rice with peanuts. If you like meat, you can also have some satays. They are spices of meat that people barbecue on sticks. If you like fish, why not try some fried fish cakes? You can watch the vendor fry them right in front of you. Later, you can have some mango of, uh, for dessert. It's very sweet. Wow. Sticky rice is easy to eat with chopsticks because the grains of sticky rice stick together. Okay, talk about Belgium. Belgium. French fries are one of the most popular trash foods in Belgium. In Belgium, they are called fried. You can buy French fries from stores or cars in many trees and public squares. Belgian people like to add sauces to their french fries like maisonettes, ketchup, or curry sauce. Some people like to make different sauces and add other ingredients like onion and or meat. Then you can buy a Belgian waffle for, for dessert. You can also put some ice cream on top with chocolate, fruits, or, or cream. So yummy! Turkey. Now, what do we have in Turkey? Trish foods for Turkey. At breakfast time, many Turkish people eat a special bread called simit. It's a bread ring with sesame seeds on top. You can buy simit rings from trees cars. From lunch, you can have a dongle kebab. Don dongle kebab. A dongle kebab is thin pieces of meat that you can eat with flat bread. You can also add some salad. Another popular tree food is corn that is cooked in water. You can buy it from tree cats and in the summer you can buy it at the beach too. It's, if you are 30, you why not try some Vizni juice. It's a sweet drink that's made from sour cherries. What Trish food, would you like to try? Mmm, interesting. There are many things in Vietnam too. Alright. Now, chapter 7. Special desserts. Do you have a sweet tooth? There are lots of desserts that you can try from around the world. Do you like pastries or, and cakes? Or do you prefer milk shakes and ice cream? What's the best dessert from the country? In the United Kingdom, custard is a traditional British dessert. It's a creamy pudding made with eggs, milk, sugar, and vanilla. To make custard, you mix all the ingredients and then cook them very slowly. You can eat the custard warm and cold. Some British people like to put custard on other side desserts like fruit peas. Custard is also used to make fruit triple. Triple is a traditional British dessert made with cake. Custard, fruit, and jelly. Jelly is a fruit gelatin. Most people also put lots of cream on top. It's a very rich dessert. Dessert, okay, very dessert. Indonesia. Apokas is a special milk shake from Indonesia. It made with avocado. First, you use a blender to mix the avocado pulp with milk. Then, uh, pulp, you pour it into a glass and add chocolate milk. It's unusual, but it's very good. Wow. <laughs> durian fruit is a popular dessert in Indonesia. Durians are very spicy fruit, spiky fruit with very sweet, creamy pulp. They also have very strong smell. That I mean, some people think this is a bad smell. Smell. Mm, some people would say durian smell terrible, but uh, other people love them. If you want to try some durian, you can eat it fresh 
or you can have some durian ice cream you might like it to me I like durian I love durian too in some parts of Indonesia you can eat durian food on public transportation some people don't like the strong smell of the durian of course in any other country also the same like that the smell of durian is of course it's really strong and some people think it might be really terrible now Canada maple syrup is a traditional in Canada it's made from the sap of maple trees you can see a red maple leaf on Canada's national flag the maple sap is collected in early spring people cut small holes in the size of the trees and collect the shafts in buckets then uh, they cook the shafts to take out the water and make syrup if they continue cooking the shafts it's turned into maple candy a lot of Canadians put maple syrup on their pancakes they also add it to make to cakes, cookies and other desserts wow now I know that they are still have the uh, maple sap. All trees have sap inside them. It takes about 40 liters of maple tree sap to make a liter of purple maple syrup. Wow. So the ratio is 1 per 40. It's quite high. Peru. I heard a lot about Peru. In Peru, people eat a traditional dessert called Mazamora Morada. This dessert is dark purple because it's made from purple corn. Peruvians cook the corn with sugar, spices, and fruits like green apples and pineapple. Then they mix it with dried fruits. Another dessert in Peru is Lucumima fruit. It's a tropical fruit that is green on the outside and orange on the inside. Some people say Nukuma fruit has a sweet, nutty flavor and often use it to make desserts like ice cream, milk shakes, patches, and cakes. Chapter 8 People work hard for the food that we have and not everyone has enough food. There are many harvest festivals around the world when the farmers and other people give tanks tines for the food that they have harvested. Are there any harvest festival in the country? Hmm. In Vietnam, there are a lot of harvest festivals in different provinces. The United States of America. In the USA, people will celebrate a festival called Thanksgiving Day on the fourth third days of November. Families usually get together for a big holiday meal. The most typical foods are turkey with potatoes and regional vegetables. Many people also have some cranberry sauce with uh, their turkey. The most popular desserts are pumpkin peas. Pa the, the most popular desserts are pumpkin peas or apple peas with mm, again 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 the most popular desserts are pumpkin pie or apple pie with ice cream on thanksgiving day many people also like to watch american football on television and that is a tradition look at the turkey why <laughs> grana in grana Guana people celebrate the Homo festival in late August or early September. At the beginning of the harvest, mm, harvest season, jams are one of the main crops in Guana. So, a good harvest is important. To celebrate the festival, people dig up fresh jams from the fields. They give the best gems to their, to their, to their, to their, to their, where, where, where? They uh, give the best gem to their ancestors to give thanks for the harvest. 
After that, they have a big meal. They prepare lots of dishes you know, with jams and other seasonal vegetables like corn and beans. During the festival, people wear bright colored clothes and there's lots of singing and dancing. Okay. Jams can be very big. Some jams are more than 2 meters long and can weigh more than 60 kilograms. Wow, it's so huge. Korea. In September or October, Koreans celebrate a harvest festival called Chesok. It's also a day for people to remember their ancestors. In the morning, people go to ceremony cemetery to visit their family tombs. They clean the tombs and they leave food and other gifts to show respect. Many Koreans travel long distances to be with the family on this special day. And the most traditional food for Chuseok is a rice cake or called Shompyeon. The cakes are usually filled with beans, but some people also use sesame seeds. Uh, people like to play traditional games, and some women also do a special circle dance. Interesting. Uh, in this picture, you can see the, uh, the woman sewing the uh, chai to making champion in Korea. India. Oh my god, tree food, the heaven of tree food. India, many people celebrate the Baisakhi. This festival is uh, at the beginning for, of the harvest season in April. In the morning, people visit temples to give thanks for the harvest. Then they go home to prepare a family meal. Some people popular festival foods are cold, cold salads with lentils or potatoes and hot curry dishes with vegetables or meat. Most people eat the dishes with rice and flat bread. For desserts, they often eat uh, sweet cakes made with uh, seasoned seeds and spices. Some, in many parts of India, there are also big trees parades. Well, wow, interesting. Big things for food. Millions of children around the world don't have enough food to eat. The United Nations Children's Fund, the UNICEF, works to help the children and their families. All right, so that's the end of the book, Food Around the World. Thank you very much for listening.